scent matters more than I thought. It's linked to the limbic system and it can turn, as if by magic, a stressful day into a fun challenge to take on. Science backs this, but you and I can intuitively relate. The serenity of a forest walk, the freshness of a Mediterranean seaside, the comforting warmth of Christmas Eve. Trouble is, how do you bring this reliably into your environment? Well, those electronic diffusers. I personally don't like them. Tacky, too aggressive, require another wire and electricity and regular maintenance. But but then I thought, since essential oils are naturally volatile, couldn't I come up with a passive system to radiate them out gently throughout the day? At first, I wanted two core elements to this system. A base that's solid, minimalistic, something that fades into the background and doesn't stand out, and a diffusing body to carry the scent. As a bonus, I thought some cover might preserve the scent when not in use and keep the diffuser surface moist. A bit of searching later, I found some glass domes online that I had to purchase. I now had a component with fixed dimensions to size the whole thing around, but what's the right form? I spent a lot of time thinking about what I want the system to look like. Eventually I landed on a 3x array as the golden medium between no choice and too much of it. I always find it helpful to play with something real on the table and in sketch to understand the physicality of it all. And I thought I had something going. I was excited to fire up CAD and quickly start prototyping. I played with the dimensions, positioning and spacing to ensure the fit is satisfying and the space between domes makes this easy to use. A few test prints later I had the base I was looking for. As this was printing beautifully I contemplated on other material options for it. This is where PCBWay, a channel sponsor, comes in. Their website offers a great range of services to delegate the often messy fabrication process away from your home. Polymers, metals, all sorts of fancy materials. But that's not it. You can also, I found out, pick your finishing process. Some of these options are surprisingly affordable when you think what's involved behind the scenes and sometimes just browsing their website gives me ideas, so it's definitely worth at least exploring what they have available. Check them out at the link below. Speaking of choices, with the base figured out, it was now time to crack the diffusion body problem. I weighed all the options and plaster of Paris seemed ideal. It was non-toxic, natural, easy to acquire and easy to mold into shapes. But what shapes? At first, I thought I needed some geometry with some textures slap on top, but even this was surprisingly difficult. There's only one slicer that you can apply textures in, and it seems so unoptimized for my Mac. Then there's Blender, and I really, really wanted to avoid Blender. I have no doubt it's amazing, but it's such a different convoluted paradigm compared to what I'm used to. Eventually, with some extra geometry modifiers, UV mapping, and some help from Luke on Discord, I had something I could work with. But would this mold well? This was the question. Before I could proceed with three or more of these, I wanted to really test this out. For the first time, I used cutting and slicer and connectors, and with the right adjustments, I found out you can actually avoid supports altogether. I printed it, greased it with some lip balm I had lying around, fixed it in place and I honestly was feeling really good about this. I got everything ready and I prepared my very first plaster of Paris mix and poured it, or I should say scooped it. This starts to harden really really quickly, so you have to be ready. I may have ruined this class, don't tell anyone. When I checked on it, the mold felt warm to the touch. Just how warm was it getting? Hmm, not bad. After two long hours, I could finally nervously open this up. I couldn't believe how neat this looks. I was so pleased. Of course, it was too big, it had some voids, and I actually couldn't get it out of one of the hats at all. But I thought all of this was fixable, right? Up to this point, I had been really dragging my feet, but this partial win gave me a lot of hope. And at this late point in the game, I had many ideas beyond texturing. And I did some more research back to core architectural proportions and artistic form, some calculations and trigonometry. And I was back in CAD. Finally, I was ready. I give you Aroma version 1.
This is Aroma, a set of portals that can take you wherever you want to go, instantly, quietly, effortlessly. The scent of hope, strength, balance, peace, energy, all accessible to you. Aroma can guide you. It does this through unintrusive, natural fragrances, fine-tuned by you and for you, released passively without any electricity, noise or interference. A tool and an indulgence wrapped in one. Why wait? Make yours today. Honestly, I had a blast putting this together and it works so well, much better than I thought at the beginning. Sure, I made mistakes when learning Blender and FreeCAD, when modeling this, when molding, when printing, but the final version is so satisfying, an object that is pleasing to look at and a pleasure to use. I keep this on my desk as I work and as I wind down, it blends in beautifully and the scent is just of the right strength. Here are the blends I use if you want to copy my formulations but there are so many options if you want to support the channel or make one of these yourself there's a link in the description below i included links to the materials i used files settings and the exact steps i found to work best to give you good results aroma could be a lovely gift for yourself or others and you can easily customize or expand it to tell a unique story i hope you enjoyed this video and perhaps it gave you some ideas or motivation for your own project i'm a really small channel and every single one of your comments likes subscribes or shares makes such a massive difference i have loads of fun ideas that i can't wait to share with you in the upcoming episodes so i hope you stick around thanks for watching this see you in the next one